Good day. Today we are working on the inside of the boat. We're going to finish taking the strong back out on the other side and the supports on this side. We'll get her all vacuumed out and cleaned up. And then we're going to start working on putting the uh, we'll fill in some of the seams along the edges. As you can see, we see down there, have a little bit of a gap underneath. We'll fill all those in with thickened epoxy. Then we get her all filled in. Then we'll start cutting the foam to fit in the openings in the middle. And we will look at getting the inner skin put on the hull. So when that's all done, then it'll be time to actually start building the blind. With any luck, we'll at least have the inner skin in and glued in place today. I may not get it glassed over. Uh, I should be able to at least get that glassed over by the end of the weekend. That's all I got for now. Okay, here's where we are at. We have the foam all cut and fit in place. Vacuumed the boat out about three million times. Still have little styrofoam balls everywhere. Got the best I could. Uh, in the center here, as you can see right down in there, I have the butt joint backer board there, which is three quarters of an inch thick. Well, that took the styrofoam up perfectly level with the uh, stringers. Oh, no stringers. Frame members. So what I'm going to do is down the center of the boat here, where the main walkway is going to be inside the blind, I am laying a couple of uh, scrap three-quarter inch boards in. I'll eventually put some adhesive on them and glue them in the place after I figure out the floor cutting. And get, so I'm going to get the floor laid in, cut out, situate it where it's going to go, then I'll take the floor back off, then we will glue these boards down to the styrofoam, put some glue on the top of them, put glue across the frame members, and then glue and screw the floor into place. And I think this time we are actually going to use the word glue and mean glue. I'm going to use a subfloor adhesive to hold this in place. The floor is not exactly going to be a structural element of the boat, so I'm not as worried about having it epoxied and you know, sealed in as basically it's as good as a solid piece of wood. Uh, the screws are going to hold most of it together and uh, the adhesive will help hold it together too and seal off each one of the sections because my overall plan is to isolate each one of these sections as you go along here and then that way if you happen to get a hole in the boat you'd only get water in this one section all these other sections would be independent of it so they'll basically make it uh, flotation chambers throughout the boat so it should make it a lot more stable and once we get the flooring in and glued and screwed in we'll get the top fared off and then we'll put a layer of glass over the top of it so then we'll have another sealed layer and then back in the center there we'll drill a, drill and install the drain hole which I have in the house and that way we can drain out the inside of the blind. So let's get the floor inside this thing. Flooring is all laid in the place. I laid the roughly 4x5 foot sheets up the center, no more like 4x4, four four, and I cut them so that they wouldn't land the joint where the lap joint was on the bottom because then there was no wood on top of the styrofoam. The styrofoam was all the way up against the flooring. So that's why I have sort of an odd piece there then an odd piece at the bow. Then I filled in up the sides. I cut the strips off of a 4x8 sheet. I had got a bunch of the, not a bunch, I got about five 4x8 sheets that were like this. With two holes drilled in the center. So those wouldn't work very well for a hull. But they uh, work well for the flooring because I can cut them and make them fit. So now I'm going to go around and put the sideboards on all the way around. And then once we get those all cut and in place, we'll pull every, we'll number everything again like we did last time so we know where it goes. Pull everything back out, give her one more quick vacuum, then get out the tubes of caulk and uh, some screws and start gluing and screwing all this together. And when we get to that, I'll show you a little bit what I'm doing. Well, we have everything dry fitted. Everything's cut and temporarily screwed in place. I uh, just vacuumed it out. And I'm going to do now for today 
because I had a bit of a storm coming in. I don't want to worry about getting water inside the hull and get it trapped in there because it's not 100% complete and that really sucked the screw and glue down the floor and then have to figure out how to get water out from underneath it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work on the edges here and try to get all this stuff squared off so that as soon as I get the bottom put in I can start working on the deck around the top and get these open cavities sealed off right away. So that's what we'll be doing now. Uh, nothing real exciting, just going to sit with the hand plane and try to get everybody nice and square. Good morning all. As you can probably hear, we kind of a gloomy day out here today. Supposed to have scattered rain showers all morning. Uh, did a little bit of hand planing last night before I called it a night. Started getting these sides squared up. I don't think up in the front. Let's go up here. I don't think I'm going to worry about getting that all the way down here to the plywood. I'm thinking about putting a 2x4 down the side or a 2x2 two two on the outside down along here. And that way I'll have a bumper surface so if I bump in the docks or trees or what have you when I'm out hunting, I won't be hitting directly on the hull of the impact area and that way if it gets all beat to hell I can always cut it back off and put a new one on without worrying about affecting the hull integrity. And then that will give me some area to screw on the outer kick rail that I need to put on for this blind. Uh, get back I need to start wearing a little harder out there. What we're probably going to work on today, since I don't want to take a chance of having this thing leak water inside and get it in the lower hull, so I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. We are going to cut the top of that motor mount off, that like I talked about the other day. And then we're going to start building the motor bracket. We're going to frame it out of 2x4s. Have it come out, can we have it come out straight this way, down, and then we'll angle it back into the boat. And we'll make it a sealed box. The top will be open for now, and then when we put the deck on top of the boat here, it'll come out this way and tie into the top of the box and then make the box 100% completely sealed so there'll be additional flotation. Yeah, here, as soon as I get out of here, it's like pouring. Uh, anyhow, it'll be complete flotation, completely sealed. I'm going to have it angled so that way, if, as the boat goes into try attempting the plane mode, which I'm sure it'll attempt the plane, I don't think this thing will plane given its size then the pod won't get buried in the water, it'll completely buried in the water. Uh, that's all about all I have for right now. I'm going to wait for this brief rain shower to stop, and then I'm going to get some plywood, uh, uh, 2x4s out of the shed and start working on the bracket.